Good evening. So it's Sunday night and I'm going to upload this video. I just want to tell you what I've been up to. Um, life has been tough. <laughs> yeah, tough. It's been tough. And that's the thing with my channel. I don't want to ever make you think that like van life is easy or even life is easy. And uh, something just happened and that's what made me stop to make a video. So I'm parked in my mom's uh, parking lot. Um, so I have to be out of here by Wednesday. So I'll be boondocking again. <laughs> can't tell you I'm actually very excited to boondock again and just be um, on the road and well not on the road but I have to stay close but I have plans I have plans and um, so I just want to tell you so I've been working you know I'm doing that document coding and then um, you know, taking care of my mom and just doing everything. And so there's a bar like right around the corner here. And I had never been there before. And listen, I've been to most bars in the city here. And uh, I said to Alan, and I'm like, what's that bar there? And we went there and it was so peaceful. Like hardly anybody was there. It was just one of those like hole in the walls, you know, that you stop at. And I'm like, this is my jam this is my jam you know and uh, we said we would sit outside and just talk and you know and then we started meeting people and you know I've only been here like a month and um, I found out too that they didn't tell me but they're like Tracy you're breaking the rules <laughs> breaking the rules that I'm not supposed to be here because when my mom moved in, you aren't supposed to have anybody staying overnight here. And so, um, and she's like, well, I covered for you because you have your van and your car here. And I'm like, well, I didn't know that. Had you told me, I would have moved them. And so right now my daughter's home. So she's using my car. And uh, so I have the van. But I just want to tell you how good people are. I know there's so much awful things going on in the world. Um, but there's this guy, we call him Buck, because um, for some reason when he was leaving, his name is Bill. And he wanted to buy us a beer or something, and then he gave us a buck. And so I said, oh, your name's Buck. That's going to be it. So I call him Buck all the time now. And today I was there, I stopped there on my way home, just to, I just wanted to decompress and um, I was editing a video for the e-bikes and he said you're so into your phone and he just came up and my beer was gone and he put a beer on the table and he's like I just want you to have this and then I said listen I'm taking a break I'm doing this video and then we ended up talking and then tonight Al and I met there and um, he came up to me and he was like, uh, you are love. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? And he put something, he was like going to buy us a beer and we were leaving. And then he put something in my fanny pack, you know, me and my fanny pack. <laughs> and I had it open sitting on the table. And um, he's like, just pay it forward. And I thought it was a $5 bill. And then I looked, and it's a hundred dollar bill. And you know, for all the shitty people that there are in this world, like what you see on the news and everything else, there are so many nice people and he didn't know like what I've done you know like buying fanny packs and giving them out to people and he just trusted me with this to pay it forward 
And you know that's what I'm going to do with it. Like, this money is not for me. This money is to help other people. But that you... Once you get out of what you see sitting in your home and you really, like, talk to other people, there are so many beautiful people in the world. And uh, so when I'm in a boondock, Al's going to help me, like, take this van and we're going <laughs> to take it to the next level. Al is a mechanic by trade. And he's going to help me, like, make this what I want it to be. And I just want you to know that... Um, like I said, this channel is not about me. It's not about a van. It's more about people. It's more about the people that you meet. And just, I hope to give you hope that in this world that can be so cruel, that there are so many good people out there. We just hear about the bad ones. And it just outweighs <laughs> everything that, like, we're seeing. So, all right, I got to get in and um, see Joy. And, uh, yeah, today's the last day of my document coding, so that'll be done. And my plan is I am going to focus on YouTube and my you know, videography and stuff like that, my social media, for the next month. Because now I'm going to get paid for this. And I, you know, I was telling Al that it, it's all kind of come together. We we watched because he's like, where did you stay the first night? I said, I didn't even know where I was going to stay. And I went back and we watched the first video of when I left the driveway, November 7th, 2021. And even I'm amazed that I wasn't afraid. I was just like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. And, you know, I'll figure it out as I go. And I want you to know that too. Like, you don't have to have everything figured out. No matter, like, what your goal is. It doesn't matter if it's, like, living in a van and, you know, doing what I'm doing. It's whatever you're trying to do. You don't have to have it all figured out. And what I do know too is after like doing all this and working from home and living in a van and that I cannot imagine going back to like a regular nine to five job. That is just not me. And I just want to share this journey with you. I was sharing it for myself, for my mom. And like I said, you know, a lot of people started following along. I didn't expect that. And that's what I think back about from my first video. Like, I didn't know that any of this was going to happen. So it was so weird because I haven't looked at any of my past videos since I left. I don't like rewatch them or anything. And so, uh, to just see from where I started to where I've come and the confidence I've gained and the people I've met. And I'm telling you, if you're a good person, you will attract good people. You don't have to sell your soul to be like others. And I think that's kind of what I'm trying to get across on my channel you know, when I put a wig on and <laughs> I'm Roy, you know, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm 56 and to me, it's just being lighthearted, you know? And like I talked to my mom who's 92, like, when do you stop being lighthearted? When, is there a cutoff date that you stop that? I don't think so. And I don't want you to think so. It's what society is telling you. And I don't want you to fall in that trap because I'm trying not to. And the further I get 
into not, the further I know that you can do it. And so I just want to let you know that you can do it too, if that's what you want. You know, you don't need the, what, 2.5 kids with the white picket fence, with the house, with, you know, everything else. And to me, it's a challenge. Al's like, it seems like you kind of thrive on this. <laughs> I love a challenge. I love to not know what's going to happen. Like, that's the whole point of it all. It's the unknown. It's the fun of it. And running into people like Buck and him doing this. So you know what I'm going to do with this? I am going to Walmart and I am going to buy more fanny packs and fill them up and I'm going to pay it forward. That $100 is not for me. That is for me to spread more love and positivity and just hope for other people that other people care about them. So yeah, so it just moved me so much. I wasn't going to do a video. Um, but yeah, people are good. People are good. People are good. Lots of people are good. And I hope you get out of your comfort zone to realize that. And I also hope you get out of your comfort zone to not care if you have tattoos, if that's what you want, or, um, you know, be silly and put, you know, a wig on and makeup and you know, whatever. I hope that you don't I hope that you don't stop yourself from living just by what other people say. And that's why I have this to remind me. The eyes of others are prisons. Their thoughts are cages. And that's it. We're so worried about what other people think that we don't do what we want to do. And I think, like I said, the whole point of this channel is not, it's not about the van. It's about the person living their life, knowing that there's so much more out there. And you don't have to sell everything, and, you know, travel, travel cross country in a van to learn that. And that's what I'm trying to tell people. And I've been here, you know, for how long, you know, helping my mom and stuff. And you see, like, I'm showing you parts of Minnesota. And I'm sure there's parts of where you live that you could go explore. You don't have to leave and leave where you are. Even in, like, a 20-mile radius, you can find it. So, okay. I am going to end this with go out and make an adventure no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van. I did that. You don't have to do that. You can just go down the road to your mailbox a couple miles away. Wherever, wherever you live, there's an adventure right around the corner. And go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you even for one millisecond forget that you're magic. It's funny, we watched the first video and I wasn't saying that and I don't even remember how all of that started. So I may have to look back to see how I even started saying that at the end. But we're all magic. We all can help. And the more love you put out into the world, the more there is to see. And the more you'll see that instead of the bad stuff. Okay. I'll see you in the next one.